Yeah, that's what I decided to do. Yeah. Mala ma'am. Okay. Psychic destiny, section one. From destiny, strictly, strictly psychic destiny. From destiny, strictly psychic destiny. No, no, destiny. it is form, form destiny. Oh, yeah, sorry. Form destiny. What did I do? Okay, sorry. <laughs> Form destiny. I'm got it. Form destiny, strictly psychic destiny. Six classes of psychic destiny. The, the AIA, the breath form. The law of thought does not decree events beyond the physical plane that is beyond physical destiny. What then is psychic destiny? The law of thought does not decree decree the events beyond the physical plane, that is beyond physical destiny. What then is psychic destiny? So he's going to explain psychic destiny. Psychic destiny oh. is a name for two kinds of destiny. One kind, form destiny, affects nature matter on the form plane and has to do chiefly with the prenatal influences. Okay. One, one kind form, the form destiny, it affects prenatal influences. The other strictly psychic destiny has to do with states in the psychic atmosphere of the doer and affects the doer after the birth of the body. This is what, this is, what is here called psychic destiny. So there are two forms. One is form and the other is other kind of after the uh, formation of the birth of the body. So one is at the form level and the other one is at the uh, doer level. Okay. So doer level is after the birth of the body and affects the doer after the birth of the body. Sir, what is this exactly, uh, see. prenatal? So what is this prenatal influences mean, sir? It is before just birth. a form hai na, before birth. But the uh, is the, the taking the form. See, you remember right in the earlier chapter, he explains that the form aspect and mm -hmm. the breadth aspect yeah. of the nature matter. Mm -hmm. okay. they, they come together. Now, as the <clears throat> nature matter moves through the various spheres, various atmospheres, etc., etc., on the nature side, right? Mm -hmm. At one stage, yeah. it has breadth and form together. That is the highest uh, consciousness that can be achieved on the nature side. Okay, advanced. Right. Yeah. And yeah. then one degree more in its consciousness, it becomes the AIA. Oh, AIA, okay. AIA belongs to intelligent side, mm -hmm. but it is a point. It is the mm -hmm. point where it is ready to move into intelligent matter. Okay. Okay. It belongs to the triune self. Okay. So it that does is not the, yeah, belong that is to nature. It does not belong to nature side, but yeah. it is the point of intersection, just like yeah. if yeah. we go to an institute, yeah. right? We go, mm -hmm. we do the schooling, we finish the schooling, we finish the pre-university, and we are ready to enter the university. Yeah. Like that, from breath form, we become the AIE, ready to enter the this one. And the next round of consciousness increase will take us into the intelligent matter side. Okay. Okay. That, that yeah, that is why they show that is the uh, in in the center between the nature. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And uh, and like a point, it has no dimension. It doesn't have any direction, and all those. Yeah. 
it is a neutral state <clears throat> that means there is no dominance of the active or passive or passive or active at that stage okay correct okay yeah then let us continue right psychic okay. destiny is a name for two kinds of destiny one kind form destiny form destiny, form destiny is see we also talk about at the time of death mm -hmm. at the time of death yeah. right and the 13 stages that we go through between one life and the other right yeah w whatever is beyond the annamaya kosha and pranamaya kosha mm -hmm. remains in the ether in the astral uh, layer okay right so our feelings our thoughts our incompleted uh, this all those <clears throat> they transfer into the akashic record okay at yeah. the same time right all those are sitting in the ether because form belongs to the ether world, the etheric world. Yeah. Okay. And this is all the feelings, all the emotions, the thoughts, all those in the energy form are surrounding us. And they are in the form, uh, they, they are the form aspect of breath form. This breath form at the time of conception enters and this becomes the pattern on which the next life is going to get decided. Are you with me? If you remember that uh, chapter 2 when he talks about the soul. Yeah. 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 Now, yeah. here, what is happening? This enters the mother's womb, this form, and mm -hmm. with the mother's breath, it becomes conceived. Breath, yes. Yeah, yeah. Right? That, I mean. that yeah. part is the prenatal. Oh, okay. The, the growth okay. of that and all that becomes the prenatal. Yeah. Correct. So as the, breath, form, as the breath enters the form, it is prenatal. As the breath ah, no, starts as entering in, the form, it is prenatal. Correct. And yes. it is before birth. So the, all the, the entire growth is dictated during that time, sir. <laughs> yes. In the mother's womb, correct. all that is prenatal. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Subsequently, they call it uh, neonatal. I think from the medical term, Rajan sir is there, so he can definitely throw light. It becomes neonatal after that. The newly born child. Uh, and then, okay. Right? It is at that neonatal stage or the uh, birth stage with the first breath of the child that mm -hmm. the soul is formed at the, uh, the, the living soul of uh, the body. Individual. Individual. Till then it is surviving on the breath of the mother. Mother, mother breath. The, mother, the yeah. form factor belonging to its own. Yeah. That is the psychic destiny. And breath belongs to mother. Correct. Correct. It, it, it's actually converting engineers into doctors now. <laughs> this topic is converting the engineers in us into doctors. <laughs> Sir, uh, the, that uh, neonatal and prenatal is correct, right? Yeah, correct, sir. Right. Neonatal, uh, yeah, actually, technically, uh, it's uh, the first month of the life. Correct. The, 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 yeah. Okay. Then, right. So, one kind, form destiny, affects nature matter on the form plane and has to do chiefly with 
prenatal influences. So what kind of form the child should take, all those parameters go into this. The other strictly psychic destiny has to do with states in the psychic atmosphere yeah. of the doer and affects that is the whatever, doer. So that is whatever that uh, doer have, was thinking in the previous words and his uh, um, the destiny? Yes. There no, whatever he was thinking in the previous the... births is the prenatal part. Oh, okay. That and I once thought. he has taken birth, that is when the doer enters the body, no? Breath and form together is the doer. Yeah. Yeah, that is how it forms the soul. Correct, correct. After the birth of the body, this is what is called psychic disc. Okay. Form destiny. Form, yeah, you, yeah, you read. Um. Form destiny is a thought so far advanced towards exteriorization that elementals have already built out the form of it as a future psych physical act. Let me read. I'm not. Form destiny is a thought so far advanced toward exteriorization that elementals have already built out the form of it as a future physical act, Phys physical act, object, or event. See, okay. it's already here. Yeah. We need to remember yeah. that the exteriorization of a thought mm -hmm. will be taking effect as an event, an object, or the third one that he mentions, right? Okay. Yeah. So it will be a physical act, a physical object, or a physical event. Mm -hmm. That is what exteriorization of the thought happens to be. Yeah. Now, form destiny is a thought so far advanced towards the exteriorization that, that means the pattern on ether, our mm -hmm. pattern on ether is so far advanced that elementals, that means the uh, four uh, nature elements, nature. Yeah. 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 have already built out the form of it as a future physical act, object, or event. Let's go further. This form abides Sir, screen on sharing. Screen, the screen oh, sharing. I'm not sharing the screen. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Apologies. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. Ma'am, you want to continue? This form abides yeah, yeah. on the... Yeah. The, this, this form abides on the form plane, on the form plane of the physical world, ready for appearance on the physical plane, when there is a junction of juncture of time, time, condition, and place to give it entrance. So when those three conditions are right, so it, it you know it, it it gives the you know I think um, no no um, it, it goes towards the exteriorization. Okay. At yeah. this That's moment. Correct. At that at that juncture, yeah, junction. Correct. Yeah. Then then it takes a set and is fixed in the radiant substates of the physical plane as physical destiny. So after that, it takes a set and, and is fixed in the radiant substates. So what does he mean radiant substrate in this aura? No, 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 no. See, what then it's radiant. Sir? The radiance is light, right? Oh, it is okay. visible. Okay. Okay, so this happens when the cycle of the radiant substrate oh. of the physical plane. No, no, oh, sorry. this happens no, sorry. when the cycle no, this, of the yeah. thought. Yeah, this happens does, when the cycle of the oh. thought thus partly in form intersects the cycle of at least one other thought of the same or of some other person. Okay, got it. This happens, okay. That exteriorization happens 
when the cycle of the thought thus partly in form intersects the cycle of at least one another thought of the same or some other person or of some other person all physical destiny comes out of the ether which is the solid state of matter on the form plane all physical destiny comes out of the ether which is the solid state of the matter on the form plane okay it comes through the radiant airy and fluid states of the physical plane into the solid state of the physical plane there is there it appears in sensible tangible actions and conditions and uh, tangible actions and conditions produced by elementals of the causal portal form and structure kinds under the control of structure structure elementals can you explain this i didn't get it then it appears so, what, 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 what is solid... this is this was the physical entity the, oh. the fluid around that is it creates the physical entity physical entity okay uh, physical yes. shape yeah yeah in he explained various forms that's what it is yeah okay so the fluid plastic form the fluid plastic form matter is hardened from the ether into no, no, the no, stiff no no don't material. read like that ma'am uh, uh, yeah. look at the punctuation the fluid oh the fluid okay the fluid plastic form what is the what does it mean plastic form it, it is the flexible one okay. not the physical uh, form yeah, the yeah. flexible form okay the fluid plastic form matter is hardened from the ether into the stiff material world Oh, this is the called 3D printing. No, this is the this is the uh, transformation. See the energy level, right? Is transferring itself yeah. from a fluid state the into the solid solid form. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got it. Only a small part can be precipitated at one time because time, condition, and place, which are different on the physical plane. limit the amount of form destiny that can come through okay limit the amount of form destiny okay all in a thought and uh, can you hold on there for a minute uh, ma'am yeah 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 see let's recall one very interesting fact uh, those of us who have read robert squads right mm -hmm. he talks yeah. about 35 different divine mm -hmm. virtues whereas ramkrishna yeah. mission talks about 40 different divine virtues mm -hmm. okay which become part of our soul plan right mm -hmm. robert squads in his explanation says that you cannot take more than two or three of the divine virtues as part of one soul plan out of 35 yeah right and you need to pick up 360 degrees of each of them right now mm -hmm. here i am getting a clue from there which says no i never understood why it is only two or three yeah why not all mm -hmm. correct one reasoning i am able to get as you read read this portion right just read 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 the last sentence this one only a small part can be precipitated at one time because mm, yeah. time condition and place right. which are different on the different. physical plane limit the amount of form destiny uh, that can I come through. through i have okay. a strong feeling that both yeah. of these are interrelated sure absolutely right yeah see we, right. we have three conditions to come for exteriorization right correct so these are different in different planes so correct. there is also an event time is an event here so there correct. that event takes place before the all thing that is why you only take part of it correct so and that also, explains this very well so because it is different at physical level on the earth level and also on the ether level the time right. and event yeah correct correct 
Yes. That's why they cannot uh, come all the take the, all the qualities at one time. Nah, they won't be able to because yeah, it won't yeah. happen. It cannot happen yeah. physically. Yes. Ranjan sir, would you agree with that? Yeah, perfectly. Totally. Right. Yeah. I think it also comes under all those ah. 35 probably into three categories of uh, Sattva Guna, Raja Guna, Tamo Guna. Right. It could be a combination. Yeah. That's what. Some see, combinations that all, soul yeah. plan. See, the other yeah. explanation I always had was uh, that uh, our perceptibility is 30 degrees for uh, us mm -hmm. to perceive any change. So, yes. for limited, 360 limited. degrees, we need 12 perspectives. Uh, okay. So, only that much we get it. Correct. That is another uh, reasoning. I mean, I am deducing. I'm not right. I may be right. I may be wrong. But my own reading of various books gives me that uh, as a yardstick. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. Because, yeah, earth plane is the very limited perception. Correct. All in a thought that has become yeah. form share, is this share the screen. Sharing, sharing, sharing. sharing, sharing. Oh, once again, I'm Buddha ho gaya hai na? Pata chal rahe. Aap Buddha bolo to mera kya ho gaya hai? Yeah. All, all in a thought that has become form destiny. It's form arrival is in the destiny. Place. Oh, sorry, sorry. All in a thought that has become form form is destiny. Okay, all in a thought that has become form is destiny. Its arrival in the physical state may be postponed, but cannot be permanently avoided. Yeah, because already it has become to certain extent. It is sitting there. Correct. It is ready. In the ether. It is like it's our ready. dream to wake up. Yeah. Only for the conditions it's waiting. Correct. Correct. Psychic destiny is all that relates to the human who is conscious as feeling and desire. Such psychic destiny comprises all the states and powers of the doer in its psychic atmosphere. Such psychic destiny comprises all the states and powers of the doer in its psychic atmosphere. Okay. Correct. Then yeah. First of psychic. all, we need to recall that psychic destiny is all that relates to the human who is conscious, conscious. as feeling and desire. That means who is the doer. Yeah. Feeling and desire are the active and passive of the doer. Yeah. Doer. Right? Yes. So yeah. it is the manifested portion of the conscious doer. Yeah. All right. Now, yeah. such psychic destiny comprises all the states and powers of the doer in its psychic atmosphere. Yeah. Psychic, psychic destiny, destiny is of, is of six, six classes. classes. Very interesting. This one is very interesting and very Correct. useful. Correct. The first class is the feeling of pleasure or pain when the physical body is affected by contact. Okay. One sec. One sec. One. See, please remember, psychic yeah. destiny is all that relates to the human who human. is conscious, conscious as a desire. Uh, as feeling and desire. That means as the doer. Correct? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Now, mm -hmm. doer, let's also recall that doer is controlled by whom? No one and thinker? Senses. 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 Think oh, no, senses. by the senses. Yeah. By the character. Correct. Yeah. Senses. Uh, so yeah. Just, just keep that in mind. As you read yeah, the yeah. classes, you will be able to see that. Yeah, that is true. Senses. Yeah. So without sense control, he loses the consciousness. Correct. See, the first class is the feeling of pleasure or pain when the physical body is 
affected, affected by, contact. by contact. What does that contact. mean? Right. One is the contact and the second entity there, right? Interesting. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. I didn't know this color would be this bad. Yeah. Right? This. Correct. The first class mm. is the feeling of pleasure and pain. Yeah. You will experience pleasure and pain when you are, you are under the control of your senses. Yeah. Under control. Yeah. Correct. Correct. Right. Yeah. Then let's go to the next one. Yeah. The second is the, the second is the feeling of joy or sorrow when the doer is affected without physical contact as mm. by receipt of a message or by anticipation of a pleasure or of a calamity. Suppose somebody, right. you know, So this becomes away. an emotion. This is yeah. an emotion. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Oh my so God. first yeah. is the feeling. Physical contact. Or sensing the feeling. The second one is experiencing the feeling. Right. Look at the beauty. Yeah, even though it is right. same feeling. Yeah. But when Correct. the doer is affected without the physical contact. Correct. Right. Then yeah, emotion, the third emotion, one. Emotional level. The third class of psychic destiny and the most important is the character of the human. His disposition, endowments, sentiments, instincts, virtues and vices. So this that means this is the that. belief part, the personality. Yeah. The personality. Yeah. Correct. How yeah. beautifully he is constructing each of those, right? So it all the character of the human, yeah. Correct. Yeah. Then this this makeup this makeup comes into being before birth and lasts through life and for some time after death. Wow. Yeah. Because so that means that, that's why a portion it, yeah. of this this third class. Yeah. The third class of the psychic destiny yeah. Yeah. comes into being before birth. That means he is part of the what form fact, form aspect. Yeah. And continues into the doer aspect. That means the integration of form and breath. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. And Very also see, this, yeah. This is where Omar Kayam says, ah. the moving mm -hmm. hand writes, having grit moves on. Yeah. <laughs> it writes before then and moves on. Having grit, it moves on. <laughs> so, uh, what is that? There is yeah, so that. much. See, this is giving us answers to so many questions we have been getting. Um, yeah. Absolutely right. Right? Yeah. We read a book, we don't understand why. We take it as mm -hmm. gospel truth and then continue. Then this book comes in handy and then explains why and how and all that. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Right. Now, so three the, years now the fourth. Yeah. Yeah. So the third is the character. Correct. Which which consists of his disposition, endowment, yeah. sentiments, instincts, virtues, and vices. Okay. The personality yeah. of the human. Okay. Correct. The fourth class is sleep, with its restoration of bodily energy, dreams, and adjustment. One sec, let me read. Yeah. this and redraw this. Yeah. yeah. An adjustment of the doer during sleep and states similar to sleeping and dreaming. So basically the fourth one depends upon the uh, sleep and the dreams. Now this relates directly to right? What is the Astral purpose body? of sleep? This is oh, the this regenerative is support that the body yeah. undergoes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Correct. Now, restoration of the energy. For a of moment, ma'am, for a moment, is anyone getting a feeling of how our affirmations work on us? 
in the sleep. In the sleep, and it is part of the personality, or the way you are shaping your personality by thinking, you are leaving it at that, and that becomes part of the psychic destiny, which will take shape as you are in the sleep state. And that is what meditation is actually doing to us. So, okay, basically actually, the pos yeah. positive thinking. Yeah. Positive thinking is positive. Uh, no, there's a beautiful book called The Dragons of Eden by Carl Sagan. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, where he explains actually the role of sleep in your growth, right? From young to old age and how we think and what mm -hmm. we do. They're all regenerated during sleep. Mm -hmm. And meditation, that's what it does also, no? Melatonin, that's what it gives you. And gives you exactly. Energy. It, in fact, yeah. puts, it in, puts us into a domain of sleep right. wherein our conscious is probably the brain waves <clears throat> are reduced to that of either uh, theta or uh, above. I mean, initially alpha, the, and actually, Delta. I was reading about dreams, right? Uh -huh. Dreams do not come to us unless we enter the deep sleep state. Uh, uh, normally, that they say before deep sleep. No, it comes to us in the deep sleep state, but we are our conscious mind is still active while we are uh, not yet in the deep sleep. So it is a junction before that. Yeah, it is a uh, junction. Before. Right. Ah. Because you are still conscious, most of the dreams at that state, you are generally able to recall. But dreams in the deep sleep state, you will rarely be able to recall. Hmm. I don't know According if uh, to my... uh, Ranjan sir wants to add something there, being a doctor by profession. The way I understood, yeah. in deep sleep, we don't get dreams. Actually, we do. We don't recall. Hmm. Uh, uh, there are two phases of sleep uh, as per the medical science. Uh, REM sleep and non-REM sleep. Uh -huh. Regular eye movement and non-regular eye movement. Rapid. So okay. the dream, yeah. Uh, uh, rapid or regular? Uh, uh, no, no, it is rapid eye, eye, eye movement. Rapid eye movement, yeah. And uh, in the dream uh, is a uh, REM sleep. And uh, from the therapeutic point of view, uh, REM sleep is more helpful. Correct. Healing happens in REM sleep, in dream part of sleep. But mm. in traditional uh, uh, spiritual thinking, we think that uh, non-dream sleep are more deeper. Yeah. Hmm. So uh, that uh, put... Uh, Condition can be here. One thing is, I, uh, as Chandra sir says, that we are not remembering our dream yeah. of REM sleep, dream yeah. sleep. And the, and the second condition is that uh, there can be some rejuvenation happening in non-dream sleep, which medical science has a to identify. Correct, correct. But uh, the same thing, is beautifully explained by uh, in that Advaitic lecture by that uh, Swami Sarva Priyananda. Ah, Sarva Priyananda. Yeah. When he is explaining the Turiya part, mm -hmm. he explains this beautifully. There is actually a lecture that he gives in Kharagpur IIT. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah. Yeah. He explained yeah. beautifully. Yeah. Correct. And I actually used that uh, short uh, explanation of that when I was uh, uh, trying to do a revision on who am I uh, for my spiritual tablets team. I did a lecture on who am I. So, which integrates mm -hmm. our five layers of the body. This. Uh, Dream state three, uh, three, uh, and three the Janaka story. Yeah. 
Janaka story where he he is suddenly woken up from his sleep. Ah, who is? Being, yeah, is this real? Uh, is this yeah? Is yeah. this real? Yes, yeah. such yeah. a was such. Which one is it? Yeah, ah, yes, such a was such. Yeah, correct. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. I agree. Yeah, and so uh, uh, Vakramaha Muni is the one yeah, who has Vakram. to come and explain to him. Yeah, be yeah. such, who be such. Yeah. the ashtavakra yeah yeah stop yeah but my question is the way i read some place unless you, you you go you have more deep sleep your body you know needs that to regenerate to restore energy see that is coming yeah. from that is actually coming from <clears throat> uh that only when your conscious mind is completely flat right? uh. only then will the body respond to or body be suggestible uh. right? that state is when the body can attain what uh, joe dispenser uses the word homeostasis homeostasis balanced correct it yeah. is only <laughs> after that that the balancing act can start at that level at that uh, homeostasis level subconscious mind is active no subconscious mind is not active not active but generally they say at that time whatever information no no that is because takes, what is happening is right mm -hmm. you are mm -hmm. you are uh, not the subconscious mind not the i mean sorry not the conscious mind conscious mind yeah that is why isn't it that it goes into subconscious yes right so yeah. if you have thought about a plan so many times that it has become automated right mm. and yeah. that is the theme on which you are the placebo in that uh, and uh, prolog he writes how he healed himself comes from that no error based repetition of his thought process hmm so unless how he goes he, into yeah. that state he Correct. cannot we cannot effort, put an affirmation for, for us to heal no you can but you your affirmation will be clouded by your negative thinking also yeah other thoughts by your expectation yeah. is, all those parameters yes yeah it is right. pretty much thoughtless state correct yeah see that is what important you get into is. when you are doing the meditation yeah deep yeah that you are saying something get so, this sir no from a simple psychological point of view see the conscious mind is judgmental and yeah. so whenever it, all your information data goes from your conscious to the subconscious it goes through a filtering process but mm -hmm. at a meditative state you are putting your conscious mind to sleep distracting it and go straight yeah. to the alpha state at that point in time there is no filtering there so when you make yeah. affirmations it's not yeah. stopped it is not analyzed it is not uh, content it is not discussed Yeah, it goes yeah. straight to the subconscious, and that's why affirmations become more in yeah. the meditative state. Yeah, that is true. That's what that, I was saying. That is how that hypnosis is also works. Some, yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. That is yeah. hypnosis, sir. You are absolutely yeah. right. That is yeah. hypnosis. In, yes. See, yeah, that is true. At that level, I am a certified hypnotist, but I gave it up long ago. Oh, is that it. right? Yes. Oh. If you look at yeah, myself, there true. are. Several books on hypnosis in my shelf bookshelf. Hmm. Yeah, very interesting. But, but but meditation is a much more permanent process. Correct. Not hypnosis. Hmm. Yeah, the fifth state. So, okay. The the fifth class is. Uh, the fifth class is death itself and the process uh. of. the processes of death the sixth class is shown in the psychic conditions through which the doer passes after death 
during the periods of its metapsychosis or oh, metapsychosis heaven transmigration and reexistence figure this is the twelve states that circle yeah. of uh, where Going the separation of breath yeah. and form and uh, all yeah. those layers is taking place in between uh, relaxation and uh, 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 yeah. yes resting place yeah Correct. so the fifth is uh, basically process of death it is the processes of death. Oh, processes it's not one of process. Us. Yeah. So basically, it take going out the one layer after the other or something like that, like pranamaya, anamaya, right? peeling off. Exactly. No, that yeah. is the sixth one. No, that is the sixth one. Oh, okay. So what is the process of death, processes of death? What is that? I mean, what, See, uh, what is... the way I am able to understand and relate to these processes of death is... See, all our pancha pranas do not leave the body at the same time. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Correct. Mm -hmm. They leave the body at various times. Hmm. Okay. The explanation from Akashic records is very clear that that is for the records from the ethereal body to get transmitted to the astral body. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, there are these thoughts and emotions and all those entities that need to get transferred into the astral layer. Okay. Which will ultimately become the impressions on the ether. Yeah. Right. So, that time is required. In fact, somewhere I have a, it was a very interesting read in one of the astral travel books. I don't recall which one. Or was it in the Gaia.com? They actually tell us that when the body dies, right? Mm -hmm. And if it is a sudden death, there is a gap in the Akashic record. Yeah, that's what you mentioned before. Okay. But he, you know, in you book for you know, you forever book, he says. The etheric body uh, leaves in like a few hours after the death. No, it, it does. But what it does, but here it says in this Akashic record, where the record is incomplete because of the sudden death, right? Mm -hmm. What he says is many a time, the soul comes back to earth for a very short uh, life. Mm-hmm. Because the etheric body, without the physical body, the etheric body will never be there. Yeah. Yeah, it has so to have, yeah. It comes back, takes a short span, recreates those records, and then leaves the body. That is why you have the premature deaths and all. That is one of the reasons why the premature deaths also happen. Hmm. Before the first 12 months, you will see, right? Yeah, but but the aura which hmm. belongs to other bodies that takes this. I heard. I mean, they say it takes three days to completely leave. The uh, that's what the book also place. says. Yes. Yeah. No, but once the record is transferred into the astral layer, mm -hmm. the, yeah. the, the 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 prana has no purpose. The yeah. pranamaya kosha has no more purpose. Yeah. Yeah. That is true. Right. Once the record is transferred. There, there is so much, right? And ignorance and rational thinking never got down to understanding this. So that is again that attachment level is the property of the etheric body. That's also at the etheric layer only. Right. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. So that is why in some deaths it takes time. Yeah. Okay. Three three things are directly affected by psychic destiny. The AIA, 
the breath form and the doer. Okay. I mean, that, that okay. is evident, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think someone's, uh, this one, we are able to get some noise. Yeah. Okay. Must be outside my door once again. Yeah. Yeah. The first of these three things, the A, the A, 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 the first of these three things, which are the breath form, A, 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 breath form, and the door, the A, 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 is the principle of form for a human. It is the principle of form for a human. It is, um, it is matter in a neutral state, matter which is no longer nature matter, but is not yet intelligent matter and does not belong to any one of any one of the four worlds of the earth sphere. Oh, once it becomes AIA, it doesn't belong to any one of the four worlds of the earth sphere, which is the earth, air, uh, fire, and uh, what else? Sir. No, the radiant yeah. world, the form world, yeah. right? Those worlds. The physical world, yeah, the, the form world, words. the uh, fluid world, and uh, this one. Yeah. The radiant world, yeah. They belong to those four. AIA, like the mathematical point, is without dimension. Mm -hmm. It is not a form. It has neither part nor size. It cannot be perceived by any of the four senses. The A came out of substance as a unit of fire, progressed through all the degrees of nature matter until it became an AIA. So basically that is why, I don't know why he named it AIA. So it doesn't have any units. It is hard to perceive, is he saying. So it comes from it is the just a state. It's a state of being, I think. Okay. So they, the AIA came out of substance as a unit of fire, progressed through all the degrees of nature matter until it became an AIA and is destined to become a triune cell. Okay. Being, oh, then being, one point here, ma'am. One point. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. See, one beautiful thing that is coming out is, right? The first of these things, three things, AIA is the principle of form for a human. That means it yeah. is defining the pattern the form has to take. Yeah, because actually the, it, it is coming from those four element, nature elementals. But it Correct. cannot be perceived, he's saying, it can, we cannot perceive in, that even though it is coming from four nature elements. We can, no, it, it cannot we, be perceived for multiple reasons. Probably unless you have your third eye active and all that, you yeah. will not be able to perceive it in general. Yeah. The second thing is <clears throat> this... Uh, the consciousness is actually an impression that is created on ether. See, we talk about, see, in the Hindu, this one, we talk about five elements. Whereas yeah. thinking and destiny has been talking about four, four. elements. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. I was listening to a lecture from Akashic record. Mm-hmm. A, le a lecture given by one uh, Reiki practitioner by name Shifali Rastogi. Yeah, is yeah, there on the YouTube. I posted yeah, I it heard. for everyone said, to yeah. listen, correct? Yeah, yeah, I heard her lecture. Yeah. Yeah. So there, when she is explaining the elementals mm -hmm. of nature, you have earth. Water, water, air, fire, fire yeah. and ether. Yeah. He says sky, right? It is not actually yeah. sky, but it is ether. Ether, yeah. Yeah, ether happens to be the subtlest form yeah. of, all of other five. any matter in nature. Mm, okay, yeah. Okay. 
and yeah. it is so flimsy that the thought itself goes and creates an impression on it yeah see now you are able to relate to how the akashic record carries all yeah. the impressions that we get yeah because it is most subtle it is so subtle that our thought itself that little bit of energy is enough to create an impression mm. it's a very interesting phenomena you know if you really yeah, yeah. try to understand from the spiritual perspective the evolution of course the only pity is we don't get all that content in one book in our dreams mm. book have to books have to come to create a sequence of reading material for us yeah 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 so that is why from akasha to from ether to earth it is more grosser correct correct yeah beings below the human stage have no aias that is the animals no no is that right no yeah. you are on the nature side please remember Being, even animals become part the of it see. oh i see okay okay got it mm. yeah so so it doesn't mean human means the human beings yeah so what so what does it exactly mean beings below the human stage have no ais so that means they don't have the doer okay beings which yeah. do not have the soul the, the doer within it okay okay yeah at at the time of conception the the aia which is itself which is itself without form and without dimension re, revives the form of the breath form which is to be distinguished from the radiant or astral body of the human oh i see so at that con con conception conception time the aia which is itself without form and without dimension which is aia re revives the form of the breath form which is to be distinguished from the radiant or astral body of the human correct see now now right for a moment let us stop and read the first sentence that will give us the explanation the aia came out of no, no, substance no 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 read it, this uh, first sentence oh the first of these correct from there the first yeah. of these three the yes, first correct. of these three these three things the aia is the principle of form principle of form for a human yeah Correct. that is the so conception that yeah. enunciates it is like a specification yeah. for the form yeah that is uh, okay, it it is a specification the for the human yeah. form right that's right and now yeah. read at the time of conception at the time of conception the aia which is itself without form and without dimension revives revives the form of a breath form which is to be distinguished from the radiant or astral body of the human okay correct so that takes the breath form exactly yes yeah the second the second the, see, end of the three things affected by when the it is the radiant or astral body mm -hmm. is the one which has got yeah. some measure of uh what do you call uh, knowledge the knower and thinker along with it okay because radiance is what gives it the intelligence right yeah or gives it yeah. the consciousness so that yeah, is not the one not the one that has got consciousness this is the primitive form yeah the breath form yeah correct yeah 
the, the second of the three things, which he said after the AIA, uh, two more things. Is the doer. Uh, Is the doer, do right? No, breath the form. breath form and the doer. Breath form. Breath Correct. form. Correct. The second of the three things affected by psychic destiny, the breath form, has an active site, which is the physical breath, and the passive site, the form, which receives impressions from the senses and from the doer when it thinks. Oh, I see. So it receives impressions from the senses and from the doer when it thinks. So when it is thinking, it receives from the doer. All right. So the AIA stands back of the the AIA stands back of the breath form through life and through life and after death until until the breath breath of the breath form is put out of face with the form. Let me read this again. The AIA stands back of the breath form through life and after death and through life and after death until the breath of the breath form is put out of face with the form. So that, that means, means breath and form it, are separated. Separated. That, that, that is the death. Correct. See, when they get together, the individual life is formed. The, formed. the doer separates. is formed. Yeah. Right. And then yeah. after death, there is a separation. That separation. Means. Yeah. Correct. The, the breath form is an automation. It automaton. is a hair lot. It is an automaton. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. The, sorry. The breath form is an automaton. It is a, what is hair lot? What is that word? It is a hair lot and One an second. angel us, for nature. See, let us see the meaning. Uh... Automaton. Is the net suddenly going so slow? I will do it. Harlot means a loose woman. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A harlot is harlot is a loose woman. Okay. So what he says is it behaves, it's on one hand side, it behaves like an angel, on the other side, it looks like a loose woman. It plays around it. That's what he means here. Oh, okay. So, which means the domination of the what? feeling side. Exactly. Whatever dominates. So, what if it, the evil thing dominates or mischief dominates, he behaves like a harlot. Otherwise, Correct. he behaves like an angel. Okay. Yeah, I'm so, continuing. Yeah. Basically, here automaton means is it uh, mimics the human being. It's a machine. It not... It's a machine automatically. Machine. It's a machine. Yeah. Automatic is a machine like automatically. Machine. Yes. Yeah. Yes. The breath form is an automaton. It is an harlot and an angel for nature and for the doer. It goes with that which is the stronger. It responds Correct. to the call that makes the strongest impression. Can we go down? Chandra, yeah. Uh, let me. The breath form is an automatic. Okay, let me. Uh, it responds to the call that makes the strongest impression. It obeys man's man's ba basest desires. Oh, okay, basest, lowest. Yeah, lowest basest desires. Yet it is at at it is his angel because after it has been purified, it takes him into heaven. Oh, let me order. read this again. It, so basically, in a, in a, it is a habit and an angel for nature and for the doer. It goes with that which is the stronger. It responds to the call that makes the strongest impression. It obeys man's basest desires. Yet it is his angel because it is yet it is his angel because after it has been purified, it takes him into heaven. Okay. Yeah. Now got it. So. So again, interestingly, can we, can breath we... form is an automaton, 
right breath and yeah. form actually yeah, it is like a machine no no see very interesting breath form is the doer right yeah on the other side <clears throat> breath form is the soul correct yeah when it combines with the right and another characteristic of the same thing is feeling and desire Yeah. The same doer, at the doer level doer level doer level correct governed by healing right. yes he is also yeah. feeling and desire yeah it is when feeling and desire gets balanced it is a degree of consciousness and also no no we can say, let me complete my school once yeah. Right? yeah yeah so it is a degree of consciousness correct can you repeat again now see on one side it is breath and form yeah on another side the same doer is feeling and desire yeah his job is to bring a balance between feeling and desire yes when yes. that balance is achieved right it becomes a degree of consciousness correct yeah that's true jagdish sir is the flow correct yes sir yeah consciousness yeah. so, of consciousness consciousness there's a the slight subtle difference there consciousness huh. oh, conscious, consciousness consciousness yeah. conscience yeah s c i n s consciousness no, yeah. see the conscience is uh, different from consciousness i am talking about consciousness correct, oh, correct. okay then, no, no. <laughs> Okay, fine. See, after the purification, it becomes a degree of consciousness. Mm -hmm. That is that intelligence. One level, one degree of intelligence. It has that, moved no, forward. That, that's what that's what I call as conscience, not conscious. Conscious is awareness. No, no, but is what not. What you are talking about higher level? Or conscience. Talk about conscience. So but no no my interpretation of conscious please correct me if i am wrong is uh, rightness and reason that is conscience correct c o n s i n c consciousness correct correct uh, so but That's this one is not right moving into, into that right no no when it's trying to balance there it gets in touch with the it moves towards the level of conscience that's why they say no when even spite of if you, if you disobey the conscience you go into the that's what it says the thoughts go into the wrong way earlier he said yeah so conscious the conscious is the the conscious brain your breath form becomes conscious but only so when in other words it is the awareness right awareness yes the better hmm. awareness awareness can be wrong also it it can be awareness could be on towards the uh, the thing in the right way uh, yes okay so the, again the problem is languaging i keep telling you yeah correct correct we can interpret in anyway it's a languaging problem see yeah. so now so it is the uh, one degree of increased awareness yes okay hmm. now that's a better way of putting it yes <laughs> <laughs> right and <laughs> yeah right look at the interesting part that means purification has taken place because once the balance of uh, feeling and desire is achieved purification has taken place mm -hmm. yes yes More yeah justice. correct so now if we really look at it feeling and desire are also being represented as the hair lot and the Uh, angel, angel. That, that would be the deduction. Would that sound logical? I'm just taking the opinion of all of us. So here, Herlot means even though he be he behaves funny, but he is he doesn't behave uh, funny. Ah, uh, so how he is be, different be, from he, angel? He he his behavior is equal to succumbing to either feeling or desire. Oh, succumbing to feeling and desire. Okay, he is okay. Okay, okay. Okay, he is yeah. going after 
loose going, character. Okay, desire. See, he is yeah, going, he's going after desire. loose character desire. of okay. feeling. Okay, got it. Right, and okay. when that feeling is arrested, that means balanced, satiated, mm. right? When that has Become happened, an angel. then he becomes an angel. Angel, right? Actually, Correct. he is so, only repeating active voice, passive voice, and then giving us various interpretations of the same thing. So, in another term, Harlot, he said rowdy, <laughs> he, like a rowdy, behaving like no, a rowdy. Basically, it is, actually, yeah. it, is, uh, yeah. it is actually, it is, it is actually a prostitute. If you really go into the Correct. dictionary meaning, oh, he calls it a prostitute. Harlot is a loose woman. Loose Correct. woman. Okay. Any okay. loose woman is known as a harlot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. So we need to start the next para? No, no. It is most delicately sensitive. Oh, okay. That is okay. still not done, right? Okay. It is most delicately sensitive. It has no inclination to right or wrong. Okay. When the desire and the feeling is not uh, balanced. Good or bad. Health or disease. It responds to impressions made upon it and then projects them and gives them form. Okay. When it, yeah, they're not purified. Okay. The, so can I go further? Yeah. The breath form, the breath form does with the physical body, whatever it is bidden to do by the senses or by the doer. The breath form does with the physical body, whatever it is bidden to do by the senses or by the doer. But hmm. doer, but if, you know, the senses, in case if the doer goes after senses, it, you know, uh, it goes after uh, desires, isn't it? See, doer is also known as the body-mind. Oh, okay. Yeah. The that doer is, what is the, also known as the body mind. Body mind. And but body mind is that is senses. under the control of Inflate, feeling and of desire. Senses. It and is under the control of, of feeling and desire. At the same time, the, it is under con control of I mean, senses also. See, feeling yeah. and desire is nothing but being yeah. under the control of uh, Sen senses. senses. Okay, yeah. yeah. He has now got into interpreting his own sentences for us. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it offers no resist the. Oh yeah. It offers no resistance unless it is bidden to resist. It lives in the involuntary nervous system. Oh, this is right. It offers no resistance unless it is bidden to resist. It lives in the involuntary nervous system. Isn't it parasympathetic? Yes. Uh, uh, from its station in the brain, the front half of the pituitary body, it, it operates automatically the involuntary functions of the body from its station in the brain. So from the station of the brain, the front half of the pituitary body, it operates automatically the involuntary functions of the body. The physical destiny of the body is worked through the breath form. Okay, that, that much we know. The physical destiny of the body is worked through the breath form. Elementals build out of the build out the radiant, radiant solid or astral body, oh, which is that is called radiant solid or astral body. And there from the airy fluid and solid solid and solid solid bodies are masses from invisible marks impressed on the breath form. Okay, see here, there is a very interesting thing that we need to observe. Elements build out of the radiant solid or astral body. No, no, see, okay. uh. it is, its station is in the brain. Yeah. Okay. The front half of the pituitary body. Correct? Right? Now, mm -hmm. 
what is that front half of the pituitary body? If you take the planes, right? Mm -hmm. See, who is coming in touch with uh, the pituitary body? Among the knower, thinker, and uh, this one, who is the one who is coming in knower. touch? Knower. Correct. That means it is part of the neotic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now this diagram is not clear. Anyway, is there any further diagram to the same one? No, it's not there. So no, actually, the diagram is immediately here. Basically, what you said is correct. Is the knower. Correct. Part right. of your the receptor brain, so that's what it influences. Yes. Yeah, it rests in the brain. That influences in our brain. It operates automatically as an involuntary function of the body. And look at this. It is coming only after purification. Mm. Mm. That is another thing that we have to recollect. So, yeah. what does he mean? The physical destiny of the body mm. is worked through the breath form. Mm -hmm. So the ma'am, uh -huh. physical destiny, physical destiny, that means thoughts getting Thought, exteriorized. Yeah. yeah. Please remember yeah, that. That is going through. Yeah. Yeah. Going right. through the yeah, breath. Yeah. So the thoughts that you are generating is yeah. working through the, not the psychic. It is starting at your pituitary. That means the knower and thinker have to come into play. Yeah. To direct the doer. Yeah. So his awareness, his consciousness plays a role there. Yeah. Correct. Right. Yeah? Yes. Now, please read that para once again. The breath form is an automaton. You can read it from there. The breath form is an automaton. It is a, it is a harlot and an angel. Angel for nature and for the doer. It goes with that which is the stronger. It responds to the call that makes the strongest impression. It obeys man's basest desires, yet it is his angel because after it has been purified, it takes him into heaven. It is, mo it is most delicately sensitive. It has no inclination to right or wrong, good or bad, health or disease. It responds to impressions made upon it and then projects them and gives them form. Okay. Now, just note this that. sentence once again. Okay. It has yeah. no inclination to right or wrong. Right or wrong. Good or okay. bad. Health or disease. Yeah. Correct. That means yeah. no one is there, but uh, thinker is not coming into picture at all. Mm. Yeah. Correct. Which means your Anahata yeah. Chakra is not in picture. Mm. Your Sahasrara yeah. and your Agnya, Agnya. It also these two together, 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 right? Mm. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. Okay. Now, from a Chakra perspective, there is a very interesting connotation. Mm -hmm. There is one minor Chakra known as the manas. Where, where is it? Manas Located. is between your pituitary gland and your pineal gland. Oh, okay. That means it is between Center the, the Ajna Chakra and the yeah. Sahasrara. Yeah. That yeah. is like a freewheeling, uh, it functions like a freewheeling uh, diode. Oh, okay. Okay, or a freewheeling chakra, whichever is the dominant character 
or uh, the dominant chakra at that moment it will hmm? replicate it its function oh okay that is the one hmm. that triggers both pituitary as well as the pineal gland to function hmm that is the manas chakra or manas chakra okay. i don't know which one which manas. is the right pronunciation manas i think manas manas, manas chakra is yeah manas chakra okay. Mm, okay i never heard this is first time no no i mean i also never heard it till i read it in one of the chakra books mm. it is there in the encyclopedia of uh, chakras which have circulated already both audio and uh, pdfs mm. yeah interesting and then, see all these were individual pearls sitting everywhere like uh, dawson church says in his uh, this one this book is actually converting all those pearls to necklaces mm, mm. coming together yeah they are all coming together we are able to yeah. stitch it into a necklace now yeah So let's proceed. Right. So it responds to impressions made upon it, and then projects them and gives them form. That is what the mind does. Now look at the beauty. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It responds to impressions made upon, and uh, projects them and gives them form. Yeah. See, if you if you eliminate the anahata chakra or the heart. from all this uh, transaction that we studied till now right there's no thinking no there is no right there is no wrong no wrong yeah right so yeah. the thinker is not in picture at all yeah that's right the knower is there yeah, yeah. and your adrenaline kidney that is there yeah. right yeah that is yes. where that is the house of the doer right yeah hmm so the breath form the breath form does with the physical body whatever it is bidden to do by the senses or by the doer it offers no resistance unless it is bidden to resist it lives in the involuntary nervous system that is in the brain from its station in the brain the front half of the pituitary body it operates automatically the involuntary functions of the body the physical destiny of the body is worked through the breath form elementals build out of the radiant solid or astral body and they from the and they from the airy airy fluid and solid solid bodies are masses from invisible marks impressed Im, impressed on the breath form right <clears throat> good all living all beings, living beings are, yeah all living continue, beings continue. are things that have form in the world of in the world of change from from a gnat to an elephant from a toad toadstool to a star from a devil to a god get their forms through the breath form breath forms of the human beings after death what is this all living beings all are things li that have form in the world no. of change yeah from a gnat to an from elephant a gnat to an elephant or a toadstool to a star from a devil to a god get their forms through the breath form of human beings after death so that those are all impressions coming out of this read further you will get the clarity okay these breath forms express in nature the impressions they have borne as the record of human thinking and thoughts Okay, that is where they emanate from mm, from akashic records or whatever uh, thinking okay that from the thoughts expressions into nature forms is automatic elementals of the causal portal 
a causal portal form and structure or form and sorry i read expressions into nature forms is automatic elementals of the causal portal form and structure kinds have to obey is that right am i reading correctly mm. okay <clears throat> uh form and structure kinds have to obey build out and body build out and body forth the signature on the breath form can you ex you know explain i did not get see, what you saying uh, expressions expressions yeah see, see all living beings or mm -hmm. things that have form in the world of change right all yeah living beings all living beings from yeah. an ant other, other. to an elephant whatever it is as long as it yeah. has got a form right yeah they get their yeah. forms through the breath form of human beings after death okay yeah these breath forms express in nature the impressions they have born as the record of human thinking and thoughts okay mm -hmm. yeah right. we, we, our thoughts are getting recorded in these forms correct yeah yeah they form the expression into nature forms is automatic hmm so nature forms are the elementals correct yeah yeah but elementals for the causal portal form and structure kinds have to obey build out and body forth body forth the signatures on the breath form that means no. the breath form is expressed into nature automatically but mm -hmm. when they have to be built out into body or signatures on the breath form that has to come mm -hmm. through right they have to the cause and effect all these elements that structure mm. is done by the process of building out or body or bringing the built body forth which is nothing but the signatures of the breath form now signatures of the breath form happen to be the expressions yeah yeah correct of the thoughts yeah and those are the impressions that are yeah. expressed correct that is yeah. what is saying yeah okay each breath form has issued millions of forms in in and in and for nature and continues to issue them yeah there are so many each breath form has issued millions of forms in and for nature and continues to issue them so, so these are all the thoughts that are getting registered yeah that is what he is trying to say okay so basically they are registering in the akashic records no uh, he is not giving that term but uh, my understanding is that is the only place it can register yeah yeah okay then the let's for the the breath form cannot be seen by clairvoyance that which is sometimes seen as phosphorescent phosphorescent luminous okay. or star like luminescent or star like is the astral or radiant radiant solid body which must not be mistaken for the for the breath form so it cannot be seen by clairvoyance that which is sometimes seen as phosphor that is like a yellow uh, i mean luminescent star like one that is this a, like a aurora um, which is a bright one so breath light. form is the doer right it is the combination of breath and form yeah yeah but but he is saying even with the clairvoyance also he cannot say that okay. which is Then sometimes seen as yeah before conception of the physical body the aia is is in the physical atmosphere so psychic sorry no, psychic, psychic atmosphere psychic, psychic sorry yeah. before conception of the physical body 
the aia is in the psychic atmosphere there it revives the form with its breath as the breath form uh, as the breath form unit so in in that psychic atmosphere it revives the form with its breath as the breath form unit gradually the, the breath yeah, form at the time of conception actually yeah at the time of conception at that psychic level yeah gradually the breath form sinks to the light plane of the physical world as it is lowered life matter from the life plane and form matter from the form plane of the physical world collects around the invisible breath form as okay. it is lower that, life that is how it becomes from... a structure yeah see yeah. it is now and... getting the its vibration is lowering and it is acquiring yeah. the structure correct yeah to go uh, into a solid form correct which be which begins to glow the breath form is then like an ember that is coming into life and this ember is the breath form of the future physical human being the breath form is an invisible physical unit okay it is not it is not a solid physical matter it begins to glow that is the aura is he talking about the aura no 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 this is the form that is getting created okay but he says it is slowly it, it, no it no is like it is number. slowly becoming an object okay you can probably think of it as right mm -hmm. conception and then the growth of the fetus oh that is why they say some pregnant women they glow women has that glow i don't know i mean maybe maybe i don't know maybe. yeah let's uh, yeah. read further at the time of copulation of the parents this breath form enters their joint physical atmospheres flashing with lightning speed through their breaths and blood breath and lightning and lightning blood. speed yeah flashing with lightning speed through their breaths and blood and along all the nerves and then or later the form of the breath form blends the radiant part of the seed or seed cell seed cell with the radiant part of the soil cell oh my god <clears throat> and then or later the form of the breath form blends the radiant part of the seed uh, seed cell with the radiant part of the soil cell okay a hmm. vortex is formed at the blending radiant matter begins to flow into the vortex vortex and and see a, yeah. no no a vortex okay. is formed yeah. at the blending yeah okay now vortexes yeah. what are vortexes So for fast spinning something in that uh... correct they are also the they are also the chakras oh the energy centers okay okay hmm oh that is the time uh, the energy chakras forms now probably we should after we finish this portion we should all go back to our notes reading the uh, booklet on chakras and embryogenesis just to get a better understanding hmm yeah all of you have access to that uh, pdf file that research yeah. paper yeah. yes yeah. it must yes. be in the um it should be the ranjan sir uh, have you a copy of that let me check is there yeah no but he may he joined later on so yeah. probably he may not have access i will send it to him no problem so your files in the are on the dropbox or no no they are in the file no no they are in the this one only in our group itself 
If you go to docs, yeah, okay. you should be able to find it. Oh, okay, okay. And then I can easily Now let us okay. see what happens. A vortex is formed at the blending. Radiant matter begins to flow into the vortex and so builds up the radiant or astral body. Okay, it makes sense. Now the chakras are forming. The physical cells divide, multiply by division and make up the fleshy, fleshy, fleshly body according to the model of the radiant body made by the form of the breath form. This see, astral now body you see is the radiant. role played by the form. Yeah. This astral body is radiant matter, which now begins to change. Sir, this ethereal body is made first. I feel like it is made first. I feel like it is made first. Then it becomes the flesh body, according to the model yes, of the... Yes, yes, yes. Astral body is made first. The body is made first. Yeah, according to this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, this astral body is made first. First, it is made first. Then, 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 it is made first. उसका शेप लेने का नहीं नहीं ए ए के कारण में नहीं लिया है बट व्हेन एट द टाइम ऑफ कॉपलेशन ऑफ पेरेंट्स दिस ब्रेथ फॉर्म दैट मींस वो ब्रेथ फॉर्म बन गया है हम्म और यहाँ पे सेटलर लेवल नहीं नहीं यहाँ पे बट ओनली सेटलर नहीं यहाँ पे समझा रहा है देखिए बिफोर कंसेप्शन ऑफ द फिजिकल बॉडी � just reread this portion. Before conception of the physical body, the AIA is in the psychic atmosphere. The, the, there it revives, revives the form with its breath as the breath form unit. Gradually, the breath form sinks to the light plane, light plane of the physical world. Gradually, the breath form sinks to the light plane of the physical world. As it that is means, lower. No, no, that means it is coming from <clears throat> the psychic plane or the psychic yeah. atmosphere. It is into coming the into the unmanifested portion of the physical world. Yeah. What is that coming? Is the astral breath body coming? Form. The form, the matter as breath and form. Correct. Sir, see, what is breath form from the nature and intelligence side perspective? A degree of consciousness or what is it? One minute, one minute, sir. You forgot? Active and passive. No, no, your active and passive, which is your breath form, is the highest form that nature matter can uh, attain. That's okay, sir. Okay. But breath form kya hai actually? It is nature matter. Pura nahi kai sakte. Kyo nahi? Kyo? Ito beech mein aagya. It is starting point. Neither it is nature nor it is intelligent. No, that is when I have no, become an AI. Sir, from breath form, no, no, one minute, one minute, one minute. Ab daudiye mat. Chalte hai. First it has gone through all the units and it has become breath form. Thik hai na? Okay. Now, one degree of more awareness, it has become AIA. Breath form is before AIA. Correct. And one degree is it is AIA. Correct. Okay. Now, what is AIA? AIA is having the form. It is actually a nature matter, but it doesn't have any kind of a dimension. Okay, sir. Okay. But when it is in this form, 
राइट वॉट इज ही टेकिंग वेर इज ही टेकिंग एज यहां पे ऑल लिविंग बींग्स और थिंग्स दैट हैव फॉर्म ए आई ए में फॉर्म तो है सर जी जी सर ए आई ए में फॉर्म है कि नहीं है हाँ ए आई ए में फॉर्म है करेक्ट सो ऑल लिविंग बींग्स और थिंग्स दैट हैव फॉर्म इन द वर्ल्ड ऑफ चेंज राइट गेट देयर फॉर्म्स थ्रू द ब्रेथ फॉर्म्स ऑफ ह्यूमन बींग्स आफ्टर डेथ ये बड़ा कंफ्यूजिंग है ह्यूमन बीइंग से एलिफेंट कैसे बन रहा है एलिफेंट से ह्यूमन आएगा ना इवॉल्व होते होते नहीं नहीं दैट्स डिफरेंट अब ये ह्यूमन बीइंग से मतलब ये ये जो लिख रहा है सर ये यही समझाने की कोशिश कर रहा है ना कि भाई कोई भी लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म है या लिविंग बींग है इट गेट्स इट्स फॉर्म आप एक चीज आप जो एनिमल वर्ल्ड एंड ऑल दैट जो कह रहे हैं दैट इज योर सोल एवोल्यूशन हा दिस इज द फॉर्म एवोल्यूशन वेर इज इट गेटिंग इट फ्रॉम देर फॉर्म्स आर कमिंग फ्रॉम दिस ह्यूमन बीइंग ओनली ठीक है ठीक है ठीक है ओके ठीक दीज ब्रेथ फॉर्म्स एक्सप्रेस इन नेचर the impressions they have borne as the record of human thinking and thoughts okay theek hai expressions into nature forms is automatic hmm elementals of causal portal form and structure kinds have to obey build out and body forth the signatures on breath form okay theek hai sir each breath form has issued millions of forms in and for nature and continues to issue them theek hai ji sir okay so form is still there before conception of the physical body the aia is in this psychic atmosphere kahan par hai ye aia no what level no psychic psychic atmosphere psychic 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 atmosphere. yeah psychic atmosphere from psychic it will move to physical right that there it revives the form with its breath because sir breath is existing not only in the uh, physical earth breath is existing in each of the words mm. correct correct sir are you getting the point ji ji sir so ji, sir. in the psychic plane the form is consistent right to please remember breath becomes subtler and subtler as it uh, ascends theek hai nahi to cosmic energy kahan se aayega sir see the shape of the shape of energy the prana is not only in the earth right ji sir ji sir theek hai to each of the world is going to have its own composition of breath each of the plane is going to have its own composition of breath ठीक है वी हैव बीन थिंकिंग ओनली इन टर्म्स ऑफ द फिजिकल अर्थ बट इट इज एग्जिस्टिंग एवरीवेयर ओके आर यू विथ मी जी 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 हंड्रेड परसेंट राइट 
So that is what he is trying to say. He says, right, the breath form cannot be seen. That which is seen, he has explained what it is. Correct? Is the astral or radiant solid body, right? Radiant solid, that state is actually the astral. Okay? Yeah. Right. Now, before conception of the physical body, the AIA is in the psychic atmosphere. There, it revivifies the form with its breath as the breath form unit. Just like at the time of conception, kya ho hai? At the time of conception, it is taking breath from the mother, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, gradually, breath form sinks to the light plane of the physical world. Correct? As it is lowered, life matter from the life plane. So, look at Light plane se wo move hote hote life plane mein a raha hai. Mm. Oh, diagram yaad hai na apko? Ji, sir. Right? So, abhi life plane ke baad mein wo form plane mein jayega. Nahi, form plane ke baad mein light plane mein jayega. Correct? Right? Dekhte hai abhi. As it is lowered, life matter from the life plane and form matter from the form plane of the physical world collects around the invisible breath form. Okay? Nice some jays. Okay. Eight minute. Oh, diagram kither hai apna? Eight minute. Oh, diagram bhool gay. Ye diagram dekhi hai. Yes. Right? Yes, sir. One minute, a diagram is a little bit of 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 a little I say diagram. Ha. This is the diagram we should be seeing. Okay? Yaha dekhiye. Ye ho gaya aapka physical earth. Ha? Ye hua na physical earth. Human physical earth. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right? Iske upar form plane hai. Iske upar life plane hai. Iske upar light plane hai. ठीक है ना जी सर या या ठीक है अभी तो ये लाइट इट इज इन द लाइट लाइफ प्लेन में आया है या स्लोली और हर जगह ईच प्लेस हैज गॉट इट्स ओन ब्रेथ वेयर एज द फॉर्म मे बी कंसिस्टेंट द राइट या द फॉर्म Aspect may be existing. Abhi man lije hum abhi AIA ke yaha jate hain. Kaha hai wo AIA wala diagram? Ha. Ye yaha pe bhi dikha raha hai. Right? So, form world, life world, light world. Yeah. Take it. So, it is sinking. Yeah, he is saying. No, it will come down, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right? So, yeah. Going back to this one, right? Okay. Before conception, the AIA is in the psychic atmosphere. Where is the psychic atmosphere? Huh? 
और ये तो और भी ऊपर जाना पड़ेगा साइकिक एटमोस्फेयर इन बिटवीन फॉर्म एटमोस्फेयर एंड नहीं उसका डायग्राम है अलग से हाँ ठीक है राइट कहा गया ये भी नहीं है क्या सर वो नीचे था भूल गए नीचे जाइए ना जहा था हा? नीचे नीचे जहां अभी आप दिखा रहे थे ना नीचे एक ऊपर है अभी जो डायग्राम आप दिखा रहे थे ना थोड़ी देर पहले हाँ इसके थोड़ा ऊपर देखिए यहीं पे है यहाँ तीनों न्यूटिक और वो फिजिकल तीनों नहीं, वो नहीं। है ऊपर डायग्राम सब खत्म हो गया उसके बाद वाला है शायद ये वाला ये वाला तो ये हो गया आपका साइकिक ये अगर फिजिकल वर्ल्ड है राइट ये पूरा राइट ये पूरा बड़ा सर्कल भी फिजिकल वर्ल्ड ही हुआ ये तो ह्यूमन बीइंग का फिजिकल एटमोस्फियर हुआ लेकिन फिजिकल वर्ल्ड में अनमैनिफेस्टेड पोर्शन में है देन ही इज टॉकिंग अबाउट द फॉर्म वर्ल्ड लाइफ वर्ल्ड तो लाइट वर्ल्ड में है वहां से दट ए इज नाउ मूविंग इन टू लाइफ वर्ल्ड एज इट मूव करेक्ट so before conception of the physical body the aia is in the psychic atmosphere there it revivifies the form with its breath form unit with its breath as the breath form unit gradually the breath form sinks to the light plane of the physical world as it is lowered life matter from the life plane and form matter from the form plane of the physical world collects round the invisible breath form right that is what gives it the visibility also which begins to glow why because that radiance is there the breath form is then like an amber like an ember that is coming to life and this ember is the breath form of the future physical human being the breath form is an invisible physical unit theek hai ji sir samajh mein aa gaya na abhi ji sir ji sir aaya nahi hai ha ji sir ha ji right aa gaya ठीक है सो राइट एट द टाइम ऑफ पॉपुलेशन ऑफ पेरेंट्स दिस ब्रेथ फॉर्म विच वन द ब्रेथ फॉर्म विच हेज नॉट येट एंटर द फिजिकल ह्यूमन बॉडी राइट this breath form enters their joined physical atmospheres okay that means their aura it enters their aura flashing with lightning speed through their breaths and 
blood and blood and along all the nerves theek hai and then or later the form of breath form blends the radiant part of the seed cell with the radiant part of the soil cell theek hai soil cell is the egg radiant cell is the sperm mm, yeah correct because we say mother earth right that is how i am relating mm. a vortex is formed at the blending radiant matter begins to flow into the vortex and so builds up the radiant or astral body तो सबसे पहले एस्ट्रल बॉडी तैयार होना चालू होता है द फिजिकल सेल्स डिवाइड मल्टीप्लाई बाय डिवीजन एंड मेक अप द फ्लैशी बॉडी अकॉर्डिंग टू द मॉडल ऑफ द रेडिएंट बॉडी मेड बाय द फॉर्म ऑफ द ब्रेथ फॉर्म व्हाट इज फॉर्म कंटेनिंग इट इज कंटेनिंग द इंप्रेशन टू बी right this astral body is radiant matter which now begins to change and take on the visible embryonic forms leading eventually to the human form theek hai very clear right i don't know if Absolutely. so much is explained even in the medical uh... <laughs> right yeah yeah Then let's go further. Let's complete this page at least. Okay, the general form. No, no, we will complete. We will come up to this point and stop. Okay. okay. Yeah. The general form has remained and will remain the same throughout the present period of human progress, and is not car and is not carved out by the thoughts by the thoughts of each person in the preceding life. the general form has remained and will remain the same throughout the present period of human progress and is not carved out by the thoughts of each person in the preceding life so there is no effect of the previous thoughts of the previous life that's what he is saying at this life at, at, at this point at this at this level at this point at this level at the, form, okay yes sir at this okay. level at this level Pe of form yes. yeah Okay. People cannot think of themselves except as in this form, so they perpetuate. They perpetuate the type. Oh, people cannot think of themselves except as in this form, so they perpetuate the type. And an individual determines by his thoughts in one life the in one life the changes which will be brought about through through his A I A for the succeeding life. thus an athlete may become a hunchback a beauty a hag and vice versa can you explain this an individual Which determines one? by his thoughts an individual determines by his thoughts in one life that in one life the changes which will be brought about through his aia for the succeeding life okay so his thus, thoughts an athlete, are going to define okay. the shape yeah, of the form that, correct Yeah. Of the next yeah. life. So the thoughts yeah. of this life is going to become yes. Yeah. From the time of conception, the form grows from the state of the glowing ember and gives and gives form to the radiant matter of the cells of the embryo, which is drawn into the vortex. So it builds up the radiant body, and according to that, the airy, the fluid, and the fleshy bodies. the form which expands is the reproduction of the form of the reproduction of the form of the last life of the doer with the variations as to feature habits and rudimentary tendencies to health and disease into which past thoughts past thoughts will be exteriorized at the proper age of the fleshy body the form which expands is the reproduction of the form of the last life of the doer 
which the variations as to feature habits and rudimentary tendencies to health and disease into which past thoughts will be exteriorized at the proper age of the fleshy body. During fetal development, the breadth of the breath form is separated from its form, but will again unite with it at the birth of the body. Okay. So during the fetal development, so the breadth let's of the go breath back, form is separated. Let's start here. Yeah. See, this has formed the embryonic uh, form, which is going to become the human life. Yeah. Correct? Now, yeah. that form remains consistent throughout the period, life period of that particular human body. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. And once that has taken place, the previous thoughts have no influence. Oh, once the this form has taken. Correct. Yeah. See, the, yeah. see what has happened? Yeah. A vortex is it. formed at the blending. Radiant yeah. matter begins to flow into the vortex. And yeah. so builds up a radiant body or an astral body. The physical yeah. cells divide, multiply by division, and make up the fleshy body according to the model of the radiant body. Yeah. That is based on the principle of the form, of the breath form. Breath form. Yeah. yeah. This astral body is radiant matter, which now begins to change and take on the visible embryonic forms leading eventually to the human form. Okay? Yeah. The general form has remained and will remain the same throughout the present period of human progress and is not carved out by the thoughts of each person in the preceding life. What does he mean general form? No, the general form that has got taken shape in this human yeah. form is not going to subject to any change. It will remain the oh. same. Okay. Yeah. Ek bar paida ho gaya to aapke past yeah. thoughts ka koi matlab nahi hai. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. People cannot think think of themselves except as in this form. So. They perpetuate the time. Right? An individual mm -hmm. determines by his thoughts in one life the changes which will be brought about through his AIA for the succeeding life. Thus, right? So your yeah. current thought, current life's thoughts will get influenced and okay. manifest in your succeeding life. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. From the time of conception, now you can read this. Okay. From the time of conception, the form grows from the state of the glowing ember and gives form to the radiant matter of the cells of the embryo, which is drawn into the vortex. So it builds up the radiant body and according to that, the airy, the fluid and the fleshy bodies. So all these layers are formed the different and uh, koshas. Correct. 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 The form which expands is the reproduction of the form of reproduction of the form of the last life of the doer. The form which expands is the, okay, that is the physical form. The form which expands is the reproduction of the form of the last life of the doer. So what, what form it is be, It is about? not over. Read for that. Oh, okay. Okay. With, with the variations as to features, or habits and rudimentary tendencies to health and disease into which past thoughts will be exteriorized at the proper age of the fleshly body during fetal okay. development. Okay, I got it. Okay. Got it. So, yeah. During the fetal development, oh, during the, the breadth fetal of development the breadth form oh. is separated. 
or during the fetal development, the breadth of the breadth form is separated from its form, but will again unite with it at the birth of the body. So during the fetal, inside the mother womb, uh, during the development, they're separated. Correct. In the, so, now read this further. Yeah. Yeah. And again, they will unite at the birth of the body. In the perinatal state, the AIA re reawakens re some of the impressions of the past. Sir, I'm unable to hear anything, sir. Oh, because of the noise, background noise? Yeah, yeah. let's continue. In the prenatal state, the AIA reawakens some of the impressions of the past lives and so provides for the signatures and the form of the breath form, which will be quickened at the proper season into the characteristics of the human being. Read in the prenatal again. state. In the prenatal in the state, 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 the, the AIA reawakens. Yeah. Okay. And that is in the mother's womb, the AIA reawakens. Some of the impressions of the past lives. And so provide. So in that, so during that period, there is some effect of the impressions of the past lives. And no, so no, it does that. See, as the prenatal growth is happening, yeah, right. Past impressions effect will be there. <coughs> Correct. And so provides for the signature and the form of the breath form, which will be quickened at the proper season into the characteristics of the human being. So that is how, depending upon whatever the past- now, Here the that... seasons are the trimesters. Oh, okay, okay. And the vortex yeah. is associated. That is the climate that the child faces, right? Signatures of the, you can add the proper season. That means that this, okay, some, some, okay. Yeah, month, different months of the yeah pregnancy into the characteristics of the human being. Not only the future physical formation and psychic traits are on the form of the breath form in rudimentary, in rudimentary symbolic magic outlines, but there also are sketched the signatures for future success or failure. So future success means in that life? Yes. Coming in that life. Given life. Coming life, yes. Oh, coming life, yeah. As called as called for by the symbolic lines on the form of the breath form, elementals come in form nature <coughs> and build up the finer bodies and then the fleshly body and the form coordinates them. As so basically the what is happening is the form is the uh, blueprint. Yeah. Of the formation of the body, its health condition, everything is from that impression. <clears throat> so, in the for the whole life, yes, as it, it starts now and continues to grow like that. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. As called for the symbolic lines and the form of the breath form, elementals come in from the nature and build up the finer bodies. And then the fleshly body, okay, these are the four layers and form and form coordinates them. This goes on until the fleshly body is born. Okay. Then the breath, then the breath enters. Okay, that is how after the birth into the end two and unites with its form, and they are the breath form. Okay. Correct. That from is the breath form breath in the human yeah. body. Yeah. After the uh, the um, okay. birth. Yeah. I think we will read from birth to death in the next session. Okay. Okay. Because it's already almost 10.50 and tomorrow yeah, is 10 uh, a festive day for everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So we will do that. Yeah. So this so is thank section. Thank you all and happy Diwali to all of you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Dipali. Yeah, thank you. And I think nice. it is bringing us, this book is becoming more and more interesting. This part is very interesting, actually. Yeah, yes. actually, this part uh, is very but interesting. It, it has to be, yeah, it starts absorbed properly. That's understood properly.
it's interesting well, how it is a seems... map and then we will uh, after we complete this chapter we will revisit 3D. four and five yeah. together i mean five yeah. and six together six. he's okay. explaining how this breath form is sinking down breath is, yeah that from uh, light world to life world to physical world if you, if, no, if you look at the very fundamental aspect of the entire theme of the book this is where it says how the thought itself is ultimately creating the other form mm. yep, the form of this life ultimately that's what it means so it is bringing all those impressions as light mm-hmm. light is a process the breath, that light and as yeah. the other yes yeah the- yeah and then is it first it is taking according to him is the astral body mm-hmm. yeah it's very interesting see i always thought it, it the layer forms after the physical body the astral layer yeah. i know a lot But of basically, our concepts are getting clarified and interestingly yeah. today i don't know when i was searching for something else i found a very interesting article mm-hmm. by <coughs> mahesh yogi mm-hmm. sir recording interesting to note that the only western book that he has asked his uh, disciples to read happens to be mm-hmm. thinking and destiny oh <laughs> my god is that right that is the wow. only uh, book that mahesh yogi has asked his disciples to read and on consciousness this uh, this uh, yeah, 29 or uh, 30 page uh, booklet he talks about the parallels of the consciousness as described by mahesh yogi and parsival they run parallel to each other wow and uh, yeah. he says that these are the two champions of consciousness in this universe it's a very interesting article <clears throat> only today i came across that i will share it in the group yeah it's a very interesting art mm so basically the energy body is the basis for everything the breath yes. form is Okay so should we Yeah say yeah. good night then Thank you That's thank you so much thank, thank you, you so much happy right. deepavali yeah. uh, happy thank deepavali you. to everyone In fact my guru used right. to say never say happy diwali It is yeah. not the correct word That is true even my mm-hmm. husband says same thing because yeah. the collection of lights it means collection oh, of lights One is deepavali. collection of lights Diwali and Deepavali don't mean the same Yeah yeah Deepavali is a collection of lights and uh, Diwali is actually got a negative connotation that's what he says mm. what the connotation he says Diwali is equal to Diwala mm. <laughs> right. see it's a sanskrit mm. word that doesn't mean it is a festival of lights yeah it is a state of being when you have lost everything he says mm-hmm. and uh, he, he, he is a person he says i am more than uh, 100000 years old mm-hmm. so he is a soul which is like sai baba yeah who can give you exact uh, replication of sai baba's life as it is he has done that uh, saving he goes on astral travel to save people 90% of the time he is in the forests he does mm-hmm. lot of those services okay chalo okay okay thank you okay good night good night good night good night, good night sir everyone bye